Do you go for a longer knob or a shorter knob? We've gone for the shorter knob because I've always found that sh I've never had a problem with things being shorter than they perhaps should be. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, I am once again back at Project Powder in the black country. I've just popped by to collect some wheels. I've had two sets of wheels done and uh, one of the sets of wheels is finished already. The other is going in the oven right now. It's very noisy in there. So instead of me talking, I'm just gonna drop some music over this, I think. But I'm gonna walk you through the workshop and we'll go see what's going on. One set of wheels is done and you'll see those on camera shortly. And we'll go see how he's finishing up with the other set. see the finish hasn't come out fantastically because the wheel was so corroded so there's been a debate in this little shed as to what to do and I think we're going to try strip them again aren't we yeah so it's we're going to it's a shame because the rest of them look really good they do and it would be a shame to just have one as much as I'd be keen to say let's just take it and I'll get out of here I think we should try at least see if we can do that a little bit better I mean they were super corroded yeah, weren't they really bad. I think it'd be worth the wait as well So all, all roughed up. The colouring that's still there, it's just took the shine off it basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then it just gets powdered back over, and then back over, and cool. it should look better. All right, let's see how we go. Definitely better than it was. Yeah. So what's going on now? Lacquer. So yeah, lacquer. Right. So that's about lacquer. That, that, Right, that's all done then. I am now back at Fastfit, the best garage in the West Midlands, probably in the world, to be honest. Um, nice Cherokee here as well. A little Cherokee there looks. So we're gonna have the tires swapped over. And we're gonna see what the 850 looks like on the gold wheels. So that's quite exciting, really. Long time coming, this. Whilst we're doing this, I have got to get a little plug-in for not a sponsor, but they helped me out. I'll show you. Toyo tires, the silver wheels are wearing a set of Toyos and they have been pretty fantastic to be fair. 
I've done a few thousand miles on them and they feel way better than any tires I've ever had before, which could also be because I had the wheels balanced. So I no longer have got the vibration that I was getting at sort of 70 odd mile an hour. So we could pretend from a marketing point of view that that is all down to the Toyos. A little bit dirty at the minute. Um, yeah, the Toyos absolutely sorted the ride out completely. Definitely wasn't the fact that I had the wheels balanced. Uh, a little bit of rust to sort out on this car still. Cosmetics still to do. Um, but all the people that said, don't paint your plastics, painted that a year ago. And they're still holding up pretty well. Um, and there's a roofing company who I'm trying to get to pay for that because they spilt cement all down the side of my car. So I'm working on getting some money out of them because that bit has not come out. Any suggestions on how you get cement off your car? It was all dropped all the way down the back of the car. Very annoying. They are aware of it. They are allegedly gonna send someone to have a look. I believe that when I see it. Right, next up, gold wheels. Should do a clicky finger thing. It's probably not gonna work because I'm probably gonna film loads of other stuff and eat some crisps and then forget where I was standing. is having to do it because all his all his all his all his guys are having lunch so the boss is doing it and we're just having a bit of a chat about length right how long should your wheel knob be is it better to go for a longer one where's the longer one you got the longer one do you go for a longer longer i'm going to call them wheel knobs do you go for a longer knob or a shorter knob we've gone for the shorter knob because i've always found that sh i've never had a problem with things being shorter than they perhaps should be <laughs> <laughs> Cole, do you remember that transit camper I bought in here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell this. I'm going to tell the story about that camper on this uh, on this drive home. I think you told me not to drive it anywhere, and I've just come back from a weekend in Wales. <laughs> Same as Roma's shoes. Well, I didn't do a football themed car, that wasn't yeah, the plan. You see? SPQR. AC Roma. All right. So we've accidentally done. AS Roma, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Jose Mourinho, he's a style <laughs> guru, isn't he? Well, so we're going to have footballers saying, oh, nice car, mate. Just don't park it in uh, Milan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. I reckon that's sweet. <laughs> Okay, that's it then. That's pretty much the end of my day today. There's lots of other stuff that I did today, including collecting the fastest car in the world, but there'll be more on that in another video. It's very windy, so we'll do that video tomorrow. What do you think of my wheels? I'm still on the fence about them. Yeah, not completely sure. I do quite like it, to be honest. When it's clean, it's gonna look great. But now I need to lower my suspension a little bit and do a few extra little bits, but yeah, that's not my main set of wheels. I now have two sets of wheels and um, I do like the gold. In the sunlight, it does really pop. So yeah, pleased with that. It's a little bit different. Um, yeah, do I need black? We tried black um, studs and it just didn't really work. So there we go. Um, racing bronze wheels on my Volvo, like I threatened that I was gonna do months ago. Finally got round to it, quick clean, and then off for a barbecue. Plenty more to come with this car. Plenty more to come. Jeff buys cars. Still, YouTube's most boring car and conspiracy and conversation channel. <laughs>